The GasTrack LZ30 from Sensit Technologies is a compact, handheld, methane selective gas detector that uses tunable diode laser absorption spectroscopy, providing fast and accurate readings at distances up to 30 meters or 100 feet. With worker safety in mind, the GasTrack LZ30 is perfect for hard to reach areas, eliminating the need to directly access the gas plume, climb to elevated areas, access fenced-in property, and potentially hazardous situations through windows. The LZ30 features a lightweight, ergonomic design and rapid response to methane gas. The LZ30 is the only handheld laser methane gas detector with visual and audible alarms and tactile feedback, allowing first responders to keep their eyes on the target. The LZ30 is equipped with a distance detection laser, allowing the operator to know exactly how far away the target is, as well as aid with leak investigations through windows. The LZ30 features built-in warnings to alert the operator if the reflective signal is too weak or too strong. The alarm set point is fully adjustable, and other features such as the gas detection scale and distance measurement scale can be changed to fit the operator's preference. The LZ30 kit includes a comfortable wrist strap, a battery charging base, a calibration cell integrated into the case, and an industry-leading two-year warranty covering the instrument and the battery. Find methane gas leaks quickly and safely with the GasTrack LZ30 from Sensit Technologies. For more information, visit www.gasleaksensors.com. The standard ship kit for the GasTrack LZ30 includes a hard carrying case with a built-in bump test and calibration cell, charging base with wall transformer, wrist strap, and instruction manual. To power the instrument on, press and hold the on menu button until the screen illuminates. Warm-up will take approximately 15 seconds and then the work display will be shown. If you want to perform a bump test, make sure the area between the instrument and the bump test calibration cell is clear. Make sure the instrument is fully seated and then press and release the measure button. Let the measurement run for a few seconds and then observe the reading on the screen. If it is above 1500 ppmm, the bump test is successful. The instrument is now ready for use. To perform a calibration, leave the instrument fully seated in the carrying case. Power the instrument on by pressing and holding the on menu button until the screen illuminates. and wait for the warm to complete and the instrument to arrive at the work display. Make sure there is nothing obstructing the path between the instrument and the calibration cell, and then take a reading by pressing and releasing the measure button. Let the measurement run for a few seconds and shut it off by pressing and releasing the measure button again. Go into the user menu by pressing and releasing the menu button. The first option will be calibration. To perform a calibration, press and release the measure button. If calibration is successful, pass will be shown on the screen. Press and release the measure button again. It will be returned to the work display. Calibration is now complete. During use, the work display will show the current distance measurement in the upper left, displayed either in meters or feet, depending on a factory setting, a signal strength indicator and battery fuel gauge in the upper right, 
current methane reading displayed in the center of the screen, and the max methane reading for the current session displayed in the lower left, and the scale the instrument is currently displaying in in the lower right, either in parts per million meter, percent LEL meter, or percent volume meter. To begin a measurement, press and release the measure button. An audible beep will be heard, alerting us that the measurement has started, and the lasers will be emitted from the front of the instrument. Both the current methane reading and distance measurement are now active and updating in real time, and the signal strength is shown in the upper right. If the return signal is too weak, the bars will disappear, and we will get a low reflection warning, indicated by REF slash L on the screen. If the return signal strength is too high, we will get a high reflection warning indicated by REF slash H on the screen. During measurement, there are three separate lasers that are emitted from the instrument. The two visible lasers are the green laser and the red. The green is our spotter laser, showing where we are currently targeting. And the red laser is our distance measurement. The IR laser that actually measures the gas is invisible. When your investigation is complete, stop the measurement by pressing and releasing the measure button. To power the instrument off, press and hold the off back button until the display goes completely dark. The GasTrack LZ30 has an internal rechargeable lithium ion battery that is charged using the included charging base. If there is no connection between the instrument and the base, the status LED will be solid green and blinking red. To charge the instrument, place it firmly down into the base so that it seats fully. While charging, the status LED will be solid red and then solid green when fully charged. When conducting an investigation, sweep back and forth along your target using an S or a Z pattern at a reasonable pace. The farther away your target is, the slower you'll have to sweep. The GasTrack LZ30 can detect through many types of standard window glass. This allows the user to investigate the inside of a building when they might not otherwise have access. When conducting an investigation through a window, it is important to maintain an angle of attack that is less than 90 degrees, and ideally between 45 degrees and 75 degrees between the user and the window. Additionally, you can use the distance measurement on screen to help determine if the laser is actually penetrating through the window. For example, if the distance measurement to a wall next to the window reads 15 meters, and when pointed at the window reads 20 meters, you can be reasonably sure that you are detecting through the window.